In this video, I'll show you how to set up using a USB cable instead of the Wi-Fi, your brother MFC L2820DW. It's very easy, so let's get started. Now this printer does not come with a USB cable out in the box. If you need one, you'll need to purchase one separately. I'll put links in the description towards Amazon if in case you want to purchase one. Once you have it, you're gonna connect this um, connector over here on the back, right over there on the lower right side, align and connect. And this end will go in your computer. Now once the printer has been connected, all you have to do is press on the Windows icon and over here select settings. Then on the left side select Bluetooth and devices, go down select printers and scanners. And then from here you should see your broader printer appearing in this list. Again, it may take two, three, five minutes, depending how fast or slow your PC computer is. But once you have connected it, it will try to detect all the drivers that it needs to run this printer. And yeah, everything is done automatically. If you don't see it, press add device and you may be able to add it this way. If you're still not seeing your broader printer in this list, and yeah, this could be frustrating, go ahead, open Google. And in Google, you're gonna type the name of your printer and then setup. Go down. And one of the first links should be the official Brother website. Click on it. It will bring you where all the manuals uh, are related to your printer. But on the left side, click downloads instead. And from here, you're gonna go through all the steps. I won't go it with you, but honestly, it's self-explanatory. Select Windows, Mac, Linux, or mobile. Select what version of Windows or Mac you have. Press OK, and you'll download uh, the setup software that will go through all the steps to add your printer. But 90% of the time, you will not need to do this. This is just in case you don't see your printer appearing on your computer automatically. Now let me show you how to uh, be able to print and also how to scan using your PC and your broader printer. To print, nothing more easy than this. You're going to open any PDF file, any pictures that you would have on your PC computer. Okay, I'll open this file over here. Press the print button the same way you're always doing. Go over here and select your broader printer. You can click cancel if you see that. Here we go. This is my broader printer. Then select the, no the number of copies and other settings that may be important for your document. And at the end, simply press the print button. The print has been uh, now sent to the broader printer and just in a few seconds, the result will come out over here. Perfect. Now let me show you how to scan and get the results on your PC computer. So this printer has two different scanners. Let me remove this. It has a basic scanner, scanner glass over here. And if you intend to use it, put your copy facing down with the top part of your copy towards the left side. Then we need to align this corner of the paper with this corner of your scanner. Okay, both are, when both are touching, okay, the top left corner, you can close the scan lid. If you intend to use the top automatic document feeder here, this is great if you have multiple pages. Let's say you have 30 pages. Here I only have two. Align them, put them facing up with the top part of your page towards the left side and glide it right over here, like that. On your PC computer, you're gonna go in the search bar. If you don't see it there, maybe it's on the left side on the lower portion of your screen. And you're gonna type scan. There is a scan app that comes included with your PC computer. You don't have to download anything and you should see it appearing here. If you don't have it, some PC brands make you download it. You need to go on the Microsoft store. Okay. It should look like this and search for it. Okay. It's made by Microsoft. It's free. And once you download it, open it. You absolutely need it if you want to scan anything. Under scanner, uh, select your brother printer. Then you have source, 
If you leave it to auto, the printer will try to detect where you have put your paper and will scan there. So if you have put in the normal scanner or the top one, if you prefer so telling the, um, the printer directly, you can select, uh, let's say, a feeder in my case. You have file type, by default is PNG, but most people will prefer using JPEG if it's a picture or PDF if it's a text document with some images. Then you can click show more and you'll be able to select if you want the scan to be in color or black and white. The resolution is also important. Um, if you're scanning something with fine details, select the highest number. At the end, you're gonna have save file to, and this is where you need to select in which folder you want the results to go in. Press the scan icon and it will take a few seconds. And this is about it. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.